Hi there, and welcome to another short episode here of the DJ Podcast. Today I'm going to be showing you how to control the volume of Serato Scratch Live. So there's two things that you want to do when you're setting up Scratch Live or importing new tracks, and that is to set the volume so that m the majority of your tracks will be a consistent level while you're mixing. Now, of course, you also want to do some gain adjustment on your mixer, but doing it in Serato will be um, a good thing to do first. Up here at the top, you see that there's a master gain knob, and you want to leave this right in the, in the middle at 12 o'clock. With most audio applications or with audio equipment, in the middle is usually a good place to leave them or a good place to start from. And you don't want to turn the master gain up very much or down because then you'll be affecting the volume of all your tracks. So you say all of them will be louder or all of them will be softer. And that's not really what you want to do. What you want to do is make a consistent level throughout all your tracks. So here we have one track, Johan Miller's Brace Yourself, which I, I quite like. And you'll see um, that the beginning isn't the loudest part of the track. And you can see that by looking at the waveform monitor here. You'll see that you know this green part is much shorter than, say, the red part here, here, or even at the end. So what you're going to want to do is go to sort of the middle or usually right after the breakdown in a trance track. With an electro or progressive house tune, it may be a little bit different. But for trance, usually it's sort of in the middle to the end. So here we are in the middle, and you can see that this is one of the loudest parts of the track, and we're just going to play the song. And you can look and see here on the track volume level that it's reaching the max of the second yellow bar. Now it's important that it doesn't go higher than that because any higher than that will be in the red and could be distorting. And it's good that if you keep all of your tracks sort of at this level of the second yellow, then they will all sort of be the same volume level. So let's stop this for a second, and you can see that here on this deck, it's just a blank slate, there's no track loaded, and the volume for this track, or this deck I should say, is at 12. It's sort of at a neutral position. And this one here is a little bit over to the left. Now I've already set this track's volume, and you can see that if I go to another track, on the right here, it'll change. Or if I go to one here, it may be a little bit different, off on the edge. You want to make sure that all of them stay consistent, and it's very easy to change. So let's say we wanted to change this one. You can hit use control click to go back to the middle of the volume control. You can see we're already in a pretty loud part of the track, so we're just going to play it. And you can see that it's hitting in the red, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is just we're going to click on the dial here and just pull down until we see that it's maxing at the second yellow. And that looks about good. Now, it would take a long time to do this with all of your tracks in one sitting. So you want to make sure that as you add your tracks in, along with doing ID tags and maybe keying them with a program like Mixed and Key, that you want to adjust your volume accordingly. Now, Serato does have an auto gain control while you analyze your songs, but I prefer to do it manually. Hope you've enjoyed this ep short episode on controlling the volume of Scratch Live. Make sure to check out the DJ Podcast for more episodes and for updates on when new episodes will be posted. Thanks.